kupunguza gharama ya unga tulikuta unga ikiwa 230 tumesukuma imefika 170 kuanzia wiki hii ndio hiyo mmeona different supermarkets quick mart sijui eh, em, eh, naivas saa hizi wako na unga ya 158 159 155 tunasukuma namna hiyo mtaona tofauti wiki ijayo namna hiyo ikiendelea nia yetu ni kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo unga inafika hapo 140 130 tukielekea chini na tunafanya hivyo kwa kuagiza chakula kwa sasa lakini vile eh, kiongozi wa kanisa alisema sote tumerudi shambani na mimi nataka niwashukuru watu wa Quakers kwa sababu nasikia vile mmetupatia habari mnalima ekari elfu moja na mumekubali ama mumekuwa washahidi kwamba ile mbolea tuliwaambia wa Kenya tutapunguza kutoka elfu saba mpaka elfu tatu na mia tano hata na nyinyi mmepata na wa Kenya wengine milioni mbili wamepata hiyo mbolea mimi nataka niwaeleze wa Kenya dawa ya kupunguza gharama ya maisha kupunguza gharama ya chakula ni kwenda shambani mbegu mbolea tulime tuzalishe chakula hiyo ndiyo mpango hii ya sufuria kwa kichwa na maandamano haiwezi atapunguza chochote i promise you inaweza punguza kweli hata, hata wewe ukipima kwa akili yako Ukiweka sufuria kwa kichwa na uzunguke hapo barabarani uharibu mali ya huyu, uharibu mali ya ule. Chakula itapungua kweli? Hata kwa miujiza. Hata kwa dawa. Zikani. So tafadhali tukubaliane. Hii safari mimi nataka I want to promise you tutabadilisha hii taifa letu la Kenya. Na tuta hii changamoto tulio nayo, hii bei ya unga tutateremsha and this problem we will get rid of it because we have the plan to make sure we have a stable country we have enough food and we have what it takes to change our country ndugu zangu watu wa donho na watu wa friends muendelee kutuombea sote na wauliza wa viongozi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya. Tuwe wangwana hawa wananchi waliamka mapema kwa bidii tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane wakatupigia kura wakamaliza kazi yao kazi ambayo imebaki sasa ni sisi kama viongozi kushirikiana kufanya kazi pamoja ili tuweze kutatua matatizo ya hawa wananchi na kupanga maendeleo yao. Nishakubaliana na governor wetu wa Nairobi bila amesema hii Nairobi tutaisafisha. Hii Nairobi tutaisafisha. We must bring back the glory of the city of Nairobi by dealing with refuse. Tayari niliweka kamati ya Nairobi Rivers Commission we have now committed a billion shillings we are identifying all the effluent emitters we've completed that exercise and we are going to clean the city of nairobi and not just clean the city of nairobi we are also going to generate electricity out of the refuse of nairobi city we have the plan for it and i have assured nairobi county that the government of kenya at the national level will stand with you until we clean the city of Nairobi because in your city watoto wetu tunawalea na tutafanya hivyo in all the other in all the other cities we are also going to green the city of Nairobi na tumekubaliana na governor na county government na wizara yetu ya environment so that we can green this great city Asanteni sana. Um, 
mume tualika tukuje eh, Kaimosi mali kwa headquarters nafikiri tutakuja kwa mapenzi ya Mungu lakini pia mkinizungumzia vizuri tunaweza kupanga ili headquarters pia ikwe Nairobi hakuna 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 organ plan kwa sababu eh, headquarters ni mzuri ikiwa Kaimosi lakini i think it is better ikiwa Nairobi so tutapangana namna hiyo na kwa sababu mnajenga hapa na mimi tayari nilishalaumiwa tayari so hakuna there is nothing that can be done was than has already been done mimi nishalaumiwa huyu mtu anaenda siju nini lakini si mnaona Mungu ni wajabu wale jamaa walikuwa wananilaumu kwenda kanisani siku hizi ndio wako hapo kwa madhabahu bwana tuko pamoja hapo god is great so uh, Uh, kwa sababu nimesikia mpango yenu ya vile mnaendesha and by the way i really must uh, appreciate what you have done hii kanisa mumejenga na pongezi mmefanya kazi mzuri sana beautiful church so vile sakaja amesema mimi na huyu omwami eh, eh, bwana Musalia pia tutawatafutia milioni tano ya kusukuma hiyo maneno <coughs> alafu na muki mkituhitaji huko mbele si mnajua tu address yetu na mko na huyu kuweka number one mtu wa weekly meeting of friends <laughs> tutapangana tuta pamoja sina, sina mna hiyo lakini mfanye bidii mujikaze tutasimama na nyinyi na muendelee eh, kuombea taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka nimalizie tu neno moja as a believers neno la Mungu kwa wagalatia sita na mstari wa tisa na kumi. inasema na msichoke kutenda mema. Si ndio? Na inasema mwaombe wote. Mkipata nafasi mwaombe watu wote. Lakini zaidi kwa wale wa nyumba ya imani. Mtaenda kufikiria what does that mean? Si mtajipanga na hapo. So, nasema asante sana.